people, uh, I'm going to try to revisit sort of a weird thing that I've done in the past, which is sort of 3D wrap around touring videos. Now, here's one on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll show you a bit of what it is that happens here. I'm going to hit play, and you'll see here I am driving through the streets of Morganton. And, uh, you know, so I've got three GoPros on top of my car, one facing forward, one going left, one going right. And, you know, I didn't do many of these videos. You can see this one's only had 93 views. I figured they were probably weirding people out. <laughs> and, you know, uh, this is kind of odd. I started doing the uh, the driving videos where you just had a left angle, right angle, and I would put them all on the screen and just go back and forth, back and forth between them rather than doing these wraparounds. And um, I recently had a lady tell me that actually these, she says, are much more easy on her eyes than the ones where I'm flipping back and forth, back and forth to different video streams. She says it doesn't give her time enough to focus on what <clears throat> she's seeing left and right. She really prefers these. So I thought, well, you know, maybe one, maybe one of the reasons this video here didn't catch on is because Morganton's just a sleepy little town. Let's go to Charlotte and do this. And I had this video I shot back last summer. Some of y'all may have seen it, where I put four GoPros on top of my car. I've got a front one, a left one, a right one, and then a, uh, a rear view, which is kind of an interesting shot as well. And so I'd done just the standard A, B, C, D switching for that one. I had this, this thing called tracks here. This is a 1080p sequence here. And, and uh, so I had all four of them stacked and synchronized. And I got my audio track down here. So I did a hand clap at the very beginning and, and was able to uh, synchronize all this. So you can see you're going to have some really nice cityscapes and stuff here in this video. Um, but so what I did, I thought, well, this is 1080p. Let's do a 4K version and leave as much of the 1080p resolution as we can. Let's not size these videos down. So like one of the problems with this video here is even when you go full screen with it, um, this is now 1080p. Look how fuzzy this is. Part of that's because of YouTube compression. But I've taken my 1080p video and I've gone down to probably around 480p with it to do this. So I've sized these down in the past. Let's, I said, let's do a 4K uh, setup. And where I, what I did, did that, I went to new sequence. And I went to red. And I went down here to 4K 16, 9, 29, 9, 7. I made this new sequence that, I've, that I have entitled Wrap 4K. So I'm back over here to this sequence. You can see what, what I've done is I've, but how did I pull this off exactly? Well, uh, I left, I actually sized, brought each of these in, these different views. Let me turn them all off one at a time, and I'll leave the top one there. This is 1080p video, but I did size it down to 95%. Let me click on that track. I went up here under motion, and you can see I just went to scale. I, it probably came up like this, and then I brought it down. Ah, let's bring it down here. I did scale 95%, and then... I positioned it. I've got it at 668 now. How do you do that? You just pull it. It'll pull, pull into the middle of the thing. They go back up to 668 again because I was pretty happy with that. 668. Ah, look at this. I am crazy this morning. And then you can go left and right. i got 2048 now, but you can go left and right this way. Just by, just by ho hovering over this, uh, left clicking and going back and forth. All right, well, I have 2048. Boom, that should be dead center. So then what I did, uh, I, I, I turned each of these other ones on. That's the rear one, so we're going to leave that one where it's sitting. And uh, what I've done here, I, I sized them, why, why 95%? I wanted to leave as much of the 1080p as I could, so we have this very nice big 4K sequence with lots of uh, data. And you know, YouTube will use 4K now. So hopefully for the televisions coming up, boy, if you've not seen a 4K television, go to Best Buy or someplace and look at it. They're fantastic. Uh, but, but So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull these other ones in and skew them just slightly so that we've got that wraparound look. And I wanted to, to size them down just a little bit so I've got room to do the, you know, the kind of skewed effect here. So I'm going to turn this one on, which is the, the left angle. And what did I do here? Well, I've, I've done several things with this video here. I'm gonna, I'll click on it and you'll see. First of all, I positioned it here and I scaled it to 95%. You can see that happened here in motion. Excuse me. And um, then over here, I, I put a crop on it. Now, crop is over here. Let me just go C-R-O-P. 
and then you just pull the crop on to you grab that and pull it on to this and then it allows you to have this crop let me pull this motion up for a second so we don't see that and so here's the crop and you can see I've got a right of 34 percent let me just kind of toggle this back and forth so you can see what it does. It'll go back to 34%. See that? I can go I can go to full extent of the VDA, which kind of intrudes on the, the front one. I don't really want to do that. Or I can do any sort of portion of it to kind of stitch it together. And so I previously kind of decided 34 was probably about what I wanted on that. I did an auto save on my, on my uh, Premiere. So I used that. Then I went ahead and did this. Now I can feather the edge a little. That's something I hadn't thought about doing. Let's, what happens if I feather the edge? I don't know, 10. What does that do? Well, it smooths it out just a little bit, doesn't it? Let's try, let's try 30. Hmm, that might make a nice little effect there, mightn't it? So we can actually edge feather that, and uh, it kind of will blend a little bit into that. I think we're going to do that. So let's go to basic 3D. That was the other one I did. I just, I just went over here and typed in 3D. 3D. And you could get this basic 3D. I pull it on top of this. Let's, let's fold our crop back out, up up here and do the basic 3D. And you can see I swiveled this minus 27%. What, so what does the 3D do? It doesn't really make anything 3D. It just gives you that sort of effect. I'll show you. See what, see what we get there. It's kind of a barn door. And you can sort of just, you know, what you want, you want a bit of that to kind of give you that effect that you're looking out your window, your side window. So I can't remember what did I have there, 34? Might was it what was it minus? Yeah, I'm kind of just judging. See, minus might have been minus 34, wasn't it? Okay, so let's turn our final one back on up here. That's the right one, and I really liked that feather effect. So let's go back to crop here, and we can see here I've cropped to the right and uh, edge feather on this one. I'm on the wrong one, aren't I? Let's go back. This is the top one. Now, let's see. You can see what I've done the same similar things here. I've positioned it. I've cropped it a bit down to 24% from the left this time. Then I've got a 24% swivel. Maybe I ought to turn that swivel just a bit more. You kind of see why I want to do that. I'm getting that. See how I've got this lined up here? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that feather on the crop. Let's see, I did 30 on that. The other one, let's do 30 on this one. And that kind of just, once again, smooths out that edge. Now we're going to get a little bit of weirdness here. I see we're going to get double this. We're going to get double. We're, we're going to, it's not going to fit together perfectly, folks, because I didn't calibrate my cameras to get the angles just right. And the fact that I use this big fish eye on my GoPro Hero 3 Plus view here, you know, kind of makes it a little weird trying to stitch these things together. But let's take a bit of a look and see if this, this might be an interesting piece of video or not. So here we are going through Uptown. The thing I really like is seeing the people left right. That's what really, to me, is interesting. Just watching folks walk around, how they how they live and as they move through Charlotte. So I'm going to get just a little bit of play here. So 4K bit of video, it's going to be hard for it to do, it looks like. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So, you know, that's going to be pretty nice. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty hard for four 1080p streams to render simultaneously here in, in, uh, in the preview of Premiere. So what I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to stop recording for a minute, and I'm going to render this out and show you a bit of what this is going to look like uh, as we're finished with it. So I'll be back to you, with, you, with you just in a moment. And as you can see, my encoding is coming to an end here. It says 100%, but... Adobe Premiere always kind of fakes you out. It's actually writing the file right now. So pretty soon I'm going to have this uh, 4K segment of video for my Charlotte tour. And I'm going to share a little bit of it with you as soon as this goes away. And there we go. That finally went away. So now I actually need to find that piece of, pro of uh, video because I don't think I've I had it. I could have automatically had it saved into the uh, project, but I did not do that. Charlotte 4 cam. 4k wrap test so it's not going to it doesn't want to show this in windows media because windows media does not as of yet play 4k video so i'm going to pull it back into the project over here there it is we can preview it in premiere so i'm going to pull this aside again 
So let's uh, double click that. And now we've got a rendered out 4K. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna hit the tilde key, which is above tab. And uh, now I'm gonna you know, make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. But uh, almost to the edge of where my uh, snag it play uh, thing is here. I'm gonna pull the play control actually off the screen. And let's see what is the experience of this like. So there we go. I mean, it's a little weird, sure. Uh, but on any, if we pause and stop and look, you'll be able to see just how nice the detail is. I shot this video 1080p at 48 frames per second. Now, when you're watching something like this in YouTube, and I hit this play, it's going to probably get a little blocky uh, because YouTube does not like to render this much data. Uh, when you stop this, you'll be able to see just how nice and and uh, detailed everything is here. East Stonewall Street, Levine Center for the Arts. That's the parking deck and all there. I know it's a little weird to see that multiples this building, but at least you know you get to if you want, if you see a person here you want to look at or whatever, you can stop and do that. You can hear me talking in the background doing my commentary. So yeah, I'm probably going to post some of this video. And what's kind of cool, you can see all the people on the streets. You get an idea of what the streets sort of look like. Then you can even see the rear view here. I actually still included the rear view for if you want to see what's behind me as we're going along. And maybe it is a little easier on the eye. There we got some people we can look at. Looks like a policeman there, a guy on the bike. I'm kind of digging that. So folks, uh, be on the lookout for some 4K video. And so those of you that have multiple uh, multiple GoPro Hero 3s, I want to encourage you to uh, do this sort of thing. Uh, how did I do this? I actually just mounted the, a GoPro mount to the, you have to make sure it's not gonna hit where the windshield is. I know you can buy these suction cap things, they're expensive. I'm here to tell you, um, the little mounts will mount to your windshield. They will not hurt your windshield. Uh, they hold like iron. Your GoPros are not going to fall off. Um, you know when you're when you're when you mount those things up there. I mean, I've driven 70, 80 miles an hour with a GoPro on the outside of my car, and it records just fine and stays solidly uh, on there. And if you need to take them off your windshield, just like I say, make sure your windshield wipers aren't going to hit them. All you have to do is take a knife and just kind of work around the edges of it. And with just a little bit of work, it takes about a minute to get one of them off, and then you can put another one on. It's cheaper than buying three of the suction cup things. And I don't know that I trust that suction cup thing to hold my GoPros at 70 miles an hour down the road. Those little... Uh, mounts though man those things were rock solid so yeah here we go kind of interesting to watch uh, a sort of pseudo 3d view of uh, charlotte i rendered this out at like 50 megs per second so it's very high quality and of course we're, you're watching this in 1080p max because that's the best my snag it will do but to, in the future uh, when the new 4K televisions become prevalent, I'll be able to pull this in, put this up, and man, it's going to be some nicely detailed uh, video. Well, one of the things I kind of wanted to do is zoom in on this. Let's see what the, uh, it says fit. Let's do this. Let's do 100%. And now, let me hit the tilde. And now you can see really the quality that I have here. So this is what the 4K is going to look like. So you can see that goes on forever, folks. There is a lot, a lot of data here. Let me move forward to another spot in the video. I just had some people in that one there. I see, let's just move around this way and look. A bit, bit of motion blur because I'm moving at that point. Still, this is going to be fun. It's going to be fun to look at this. Just the amount of uh, the amount of data that I have in each of these frames. Wow! See my uh, highway signs and stuff here. All right, folks. Like I say, would like to encourage you, uh, those of you who um, enjoy doing multicam driving videos. Maybe you try doing this too. 
Peace to all in the world. Cheers. Send me any questions, comments you have. Subscribe if you like.